Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. Today I am going to show you, we're going to be stuffing some beautiful peppers. Now these are all washed guys. But we're going to stuff a few peppers for a small lunch. Some are big, some are small, but that's okay. Now, I just eat these like this when I have lunch, but my daughter likes to have them cooked, and so does my husband. Now, before I do that, I want to show you. Here's that agata. Remember, I used paper towels, and it was all the way up to the top. Look what happened to the agata because of the paper towels. It's been absorbing. Now, this is the one. Do you see it? This is the one that I use um, just plain nuts. But I did put, mm -hmm, look at that, I did pa paper towels, I did change it more than once, and there is my beautiful regatta, just as firm as the other one that I did the longer procedure to. I'm telling you guys, if you don't want to do it the old fashioned way where you extract the milk from the nuts, you can make regatta. Just like that. Simple, simple, simple. Isn't that simple? Okay, so I will show you how I make this. But for now, we're going to make a small recipe on how we're going to stuff these peppers. This is a very fast recipe. Takes no time at all to make. Now, my husband did cook up some. Uh, this is rabini. I don't know if you know what uh, these are like Italian broccoli. And... He cooked these up this morning. I'm going to take some of these that are already cooked and seasoned. He seasoned it with garlic and he seasoned it with a little bit of olive oil. Here we go. We're only going to steal some from him. Not that many. There we go. That's good. And we're going to cut these up. These knives are so sharp, you gotta watch out or you lose a fingernail. There we go. And we're not gonna make a lot because these peppers are actually very small. Now you could use a little bag to fill this or you could just take a little spoon and slowly push the stuffing right into your peppers. And there we go. Beautiful, look at that. Now to this, we're going to add some fresh basil. Now I'm going to show you what I have here. Okay, I make pesto. You know I'm the pesto queen, right? All I do is make pesto. But I'll show you something. Uh, when I make pesto, I take all the leaves and I, I'm left with just a stem. Now normally, what would people do? Uh, I'm talking the bottom part, not the tender part of the stem. I'm talking the bottom part of the stem. Now what do people do? The people take that stem and they throw it in the compost, right? Why do you want to throw that in the compost? If you put that stem in some water, look what you get, guys. Do you see what I got? I got free basil. I bought basil to make my pesto because I, I wasn't going to go out and start buying little packages of basil. I didn't have any fresh basil planted in my house so I went out and bought the basil and let me tell you that basil is not cheap so by throwing away those stems you would have just gypped yourself because if you put those stems in some water look at that look what I've got now just by putting the stems and it didn't have any leaves guys when I put the stems in the water they didn't have any leaves but you do want to make sure I'll show you that when you put it in the water that you are left with a knob okay that means this is a knob right there you see see I took off the leaves here and here but I left the knob there so look what came out in between that knob and the stem I got look fresh basil so guys if you even buy basil at the store and you buy a small package you know you're gonna have you're gonna have the stems if you use the top take these stems and put them in some water and then if you really want them to do well you need to put a little bag on top with holes and it kind of makes like a little greenhouse for you and what that does is it keeps your plants 
from having a chance to grow rather than just turn into mush in your water. So there you go, guys. A little tip for you. And if you want to see more great tips, uh, I do have a Patreon account. And you should go check it out. And I put on that, on that account, I put special recipes and a lot of tips will be posted on there. That's going to make your life a little easier. So there you go, guys. A little tip for you. And now we're going to take some of this basil. And there we go. I am going to take this basil right there. This goes back in the water because guess what? Right there and right there, I am going to get new plants. They're getting tangled. So I am going to pinch off that piece, pinch off that piece, and I'm going to get new plants coming up there. So you can have basil. You can have basil growing and growing and growing continuously for you. And this is going to start making roots on me. Maybe one more piece. There we go. And that's it. I leave that right on my, uh, under my, the light of my, uh, my oven, my stove. And it continuously makes, uh, makes fresh basil for me. Now, in the summer, I will take those plants out, the ones that rooted. And I will put them in, uh, in the garden. So, there we go. Fresh basil with our rapini. Easy. Isn't this recipe easy? Now, if you don't have any fresh at home, go ahead and use dry. That's really up to you. Or if you don't want to put any herbs, don't put any at all. Okay, sorry about the shakings, guys. So, we're going to add some fresh ricotta. And look how firm that is now. Do you see that? So, it depends how much um, how much peppers you're going to stuff. I'm going to eyeball it for now. There we go. And we're going to add this to it. going to slowly mix it in and we're going to add some salt look at that fresh ricotta guys and that ricotta is done in no time at all so there's my ricotta we're going to put some beautiful cracked pepper to this that's fantastic there we go. A little bit of cracked pepper. A little bit of salt. If you want to put chili, you can put chili on this. Or inside, you can put chili flakes. And let's see. Guys, heaven. Heaven on earth. You would never know that this wasn't a dairy ricotta. Now I'm gonna take this and I am gonna push this paper towel back up to it like this and it's gonna go back on my dish for maybe later on because my daughter and I will be making raviolis. So let's just, mm. my God, okay. Might as well just push this over the side. Okay, so I'm going to either use an espresso spoon or a small, uh, like a butter or cheese knife. And I'm just going to wipe this down. And these paper towels go into my compost bin, so. Okay, so here we go. We're going to cut. And we're just going to take out this part here. And you don't want to overstuff these e either. You want them to go nice and flat on you when you cook them. So we're just going to slowly put it in. And then if we need, we could put more 
on each one. Okay, so we're just going to push this aside and do the next one. Take off the seeds. And there we go. In it goes. Now, if you don't have rapini, you could use spinach. If you don't have spinach, you could use whatever greens you have. It doesn't have to be so complicated. Someone, someone says, well, I don't have... I don't have the spinach or I don't have this. Well, then use what you have, guys. And if you don't have any of that, well, just use the ricotta. Just season it with a little bit of garlic. And that's it. Very easy. So I'm going to continue making these. And guys, if you have any questions or you say, you know, Connie, can you make this for me next time? Let me know. I have a few of you who have been asking me to make uh, some recipes. And I have you on my list. I have a huge list, guys, that I'm trying to work my way through. And I will make them for you. You just have to have patience and I'll get there. But I promise I will. If there's something you want me to maybe veganize for you, let me know. Aren't they pretty? So I'm going to stuff as much as I can. Notice these are small little peppers. And you're going to say, well, what are we going to do with just those little peppers? This could be an appetizer, guys. It doesn't mean you have to sit. I mean, you could sit there and make it a meal for someone like I'm doing for my daughter. But this is not all they're going to be eating. Food is fantastic. You know, our whole world surrounds. Without food, we don't exist, guys. What you doing, JJ? My dog is nesting. He thinks he's a cat. So I just want to push this over so you see what I'm doing. Just put a little bit at a time, and then we could always push in more and see if we have any left over. Or you can just, you know what you could do with leftovers, right? You could take a nice piece of bread. Just different ways you can use this. Take a nice piece of bread and make crostinis. So people come over your house, they have something delicious to eat. And let me tell you, this is delicious. You're going to love this cheese. Very simple, to the point, no fussing around. Just a little extra to seal it. That's what holds the cap on, you see? You just have to put a little extra on the cap and then just push it in and it holds on your pepper. I might have a hard time with this one, but we'll see. Are you putting your dirty fingernails in your food? Well, if only you know that my fingernails are far from being dirty. The only time my fingernails will be dirty, and not even all the time, is if I'm working in the garden. And then I tell my family sometimes, oh, extra B12 for you. You know I'm joking, right? If anybody really knows who I am, I have a certain type of humor. <laughs> I remember not long ago, someone said to me, Oh, disgusting. I would never eat your food with those fingernails. I said, Well, I guess you're not coming for dinner. See, that's the type of humor I have. <laughs> I'm not going to get mad and tell you off and call you names. Okay. So we are. I think I got all of them. I might have to restuff some. So I'm going to put that in my mouth. Yes, I did. Just wipe down my counter. My God, I wish you can taste this. I wish you guys can taste this. I know I'm bragging, but I make this often, and I wish you guys can taste this. Okay, I'm just going to put my... Freshly clean cast iron. I made a little video and I put it up on Patreon. But I am going to put a little bit of olive oil. I can find it. And we're going to lay down these cute little guys. And some, we're going to have to add some more of that delicious cheese. So the lid sticks. See, very easy way. 
to make that lid stick. This one's stuck. We're going to lay that one down. There we go. And remember, you don't want to toss these. That's not what you want to do. You do not want to toss these. I could have used my so smaller cast iron pan for this. Guys, I will change my pot, my pan. I just feel like I'm way too much space. But I am going to put it in my smaller one. Hopefully, it'll fit nicely. I think it will. There's my smaller cast iron that I cleaned. Okay. Look, I didn't even dirty it. Okay, so it fits better there. I am just going to drizzle some olive oil. And I will crack some more black pepper on top. Very simple recipe, guys. You see how long it took to make this? I know I talk more than... If I wasn't talking to you, this was done in no time at all. Trust me when I tell you that. Uh, some salt on top. And I'm going to use, guess what, guys? My favorite, of course. My smoked salt. And I have a video showing you guys, if you don't have a smoker, you can still make smoked salt at home, which I have to make another big batch, so I might do that today. There you go, some smoked salt. And these are going to go into the oven. 450, and you keep an eye on them because these are going to cook fast. And then you're going to serve them. You can serve these as an appetizer. They are simply, simply delicious. And this, guys, do not throw that away. Put that on a piece of bread and enjoy it. Very, very good. There you go, guys. 30 minutes on a high 450 heat Fahrenheit. I'm using convection oven. And how would I serve it? If you're serving for one person. Now remember, you could eat this uh, as a meal, but if you're doing it as an entree or as an appetizer, you can serve it this way. A little drizzle of olive oil. And that's if you're using it for one person. That's if you're serving for one. And there you go, guys. Set this on the table, and this could be a side dish, or it could be a dish just for you. So there you go guys, if you like this video give me a thumbs up and share with your friends and guess what guys, I'll see you in my next video. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawson Kitchen, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.